पहुंचा Yon, good morning mga field watch subscribers. No, it's a very sunny day today in Jakarta, Indonesia. Pero bakit nga ba ako nandito sa Jakarta ngayon? Well, hindi ako sa inyo magbibigay ng room tour or ng tour ng room na inistay ko ngayon. Buti na lang na ayos na nila yung kama, maayos na tingnan. Pero bakit nga ba ako nandito sa Indonesia? Well, that's because Today, we are going to go to the Indonesia International Auto Show kung saan may mga bagong ipapakita at i-debut na kotse. Isa na dyan is yung Hyundai Stargazer X which hindi ko pa masyado alam kung ano ba ang kotse na yon, but from the word X, meaning baka extreme to, pwedeng pang tapat sa mga kotse gaya ng Expander Cross at saka ng XL7 sa Suzuki. But aside from that, ilalabas na rin doon ni Mitsubishi yung production version ng XFC concept. So, it's gonna be an interesting show at saka titignan pa natin kung ano ang makikita natin cars doon. So, paano ba yan? Since malilate na rin ako, baba na tayo, punta na tayo sa Indonesia International Motor Show. Sabahin niyo ako. Tara! Huh. Huh. Okay, kita nyo naman. Sana maganda yung transition. Nandito na nga tayo sa convention center no, for the 30th Kaikindo Indonesia International Auto Show. At ang daming sasakyan na nakadisplay sa loob. Kaya naman, titignan natin ito ngayon isa-isa. And we're gonna do a quick rundown of what is inside. Pero one of the main highlights ng ilalabas na kotse dito is from Hyundai. Kasi ilalabas nila yung Stargazer X. Ganon din sa Mitsubishi, ilalabas nila yung production version ng XFC concept. And we're now inside the hall, and I can say it's bigger than what we have in Manila. Mas malaki siya, and this itang kita mo talaga yung size difference when it comes to international auto shows. Pero so sana maging ganto rin tayo in the future sa Manila. So ang dami natin makita, na first stop, nandito yung Subaru. Well, nandito na yung mga dinala nilang usual stuff or usual kotse nila like the BRC WRX, which is the sedan, and the wagon, nandito rin yun. Pero what's interesting is that when you go to the Honda booth, Nila ng Honda dito sa Indonesia International Auto Show is the Honda E. It's an electric vehicle. Fine size siya, pero what I like about this car is yung kanyang overall design. Kung may kita nyo, ang ganda ng contrast ng black towards this blue color white na sasabihan. And for me, it's a nice looking car. Saka, yun nga, no? Ang cute eh. Ang cute ng pagkagigi. Pero, kung ayaw nyo ng EV, may mas maganda tayong may kita dito. Or hindi naman mas maganda. Baka mas matripan nyo lang. Lalo na nung mga mahiling mag-racing-racing dyan. Yun. So, ito yung kotse na sinasabi ko sa inyo, mga free kotse subscribers. It's the Brio RS. Yun. Brio RS Racing Concept. Confirmed nga. Hindi ko lang exactly kung meron ginawang engine upgrades for this Brio. But from what we can see right now sa exterior niya, medyo mas meron siyang, what you call this, assertive and aggressive and sporty vehicle sa harap. Pero hindi natin alam kung meron ginawang engine tune up when it comes to this car. But yeah, kung trip niyan, comment nyo pa ba? Okay, let's go! So, ayun, no? Punta ka tayo ngayon sa booth ng Mitsubishi dito sa Indonesia International Auto Show. And so far, ang hirap makalusot dahil ang daming tao, ang daming nag-aabang sa sasakya na to. But let's try what we can have here and what we can see here dito sa booth ng Mitsubishi. Ayun. So, ayun yung production version which is called Mitsubishi X-Force pala. O, X-Force yung tinawag nyo doon which is the production version ng XFC concept. So, yeah, we're trying to get a closer look and from what I'm seeing sa gantong kalayo, it looks like malaki yung pinuwa nila or na-retain na dito na design details from the XFC concept. So, tara, singit ako doon. Bahala na. Ayun, this is the Mitsubishi X-Force, which is the production version ng XFC concept. 
Sa exterior, medyo na-retain yung sharp design na nakita natin sa XFC concept. Pero as expected, mas tame version itong nasa production spec X-Force. It still has a similar treatment sa kanyang headlights and meron pa ding muscular bumper. The wheel design is medyo nagbago ng slight pero may character pa din itong nakakabit sa X-Force. Sa likod naman, may aggressive styling pa din ito. Tignan nyo naman oh. Nandun pa rin yung kanyang sharpness when it comes to the overall finish which is expected naman since the, F since the XFC concept is a concept, di ba? So hindi lahat yun expect yung magkakalun sa production version. Alright, ikot muna ulit. Over at the Hyundai booth, dinala nila yung latest model lineup nila which includes the Staria, the Palisade, the Santa Fe, and the Ionic 5. Pero syempre, ang star sa Hyundai booth ay ang Stargazer X. Yun, aside from Mitsubishi, syempre hindi magpapauli ang Hyundai. Isa rin sila sa inaabangan na brands dito sa Indonesia International Auto Show because they are going to launch a new car which I believe is a Stargazer X. X, gaya ano sabi ko sa intro eh, di ba? It could be something na mas extreme or mas rugged looking na Stargazer variant yung ilalabas ng Hyundai dito sa Indonesia. So, abangan din natin yun. Nandiyan yan, isa yun sa mga nakatago or nakablanket dyan. Oh, pakataan natin kuya, ingat, di pa launch! Yo no guys, yan na yung bagong variant ng Stargazer. It's called the Stargazer X. So essentially, a more rugged appeal or a more rugged design dun sa kanyang MPV design na nakasanayan na natin. Essential na kayo guys, maraming tao dito masyado kaya yung tao, yung flow is like medyo crazy. Pero okay lang yan. That means it's good. So when it comes to the Stargazer X, so ang initial difference na may kita nyo right away is the grill. It has a more aggressive grill na din ang panikuya. Yan! It has a more aggressive grill na mas nagbibigay ng mas assertive look doon sa kanyang MPV na mismo overall design. Tapos, surrounded na rin siya with the black cladding yung kanyang grill. Tapos, yung kapapasok nyo dito yung sa baba ng skid plate, ito sa ha, revised design. Subtle but revised siya, mas, mas aggressive kayo at mas matapang yung dating. Tapos, the black name is yung also BC doon sa gilid. Aside from sa grill na yan, o yan, mga slats na yan, Maganda pag ginawa niya ang black dito para nga magkaroon ng dagdag na extremities or dagdag na design. Okay. Pag kinig na mo dito si Gilded, no, una mo may kita is that the wheels and the wheel horns meron na siyang body cladding which is similar kung alam mo yung kotse na expander ko. So, which ganun din yung ginaganda ng Star Laser X is to compete with the Star or is to compete with the expander cross. And yeah, no, the black cladding can be seen again dito sa likod. Kasi before, yeah, yeah, so gusto natin. The black cladding can be seen again dito sa likod. Kasi before, smooth lang yan eh. Wala yung cladding na yan dito sa kanyang fender stairs. Eh. But now, the Star Gazer X has it right now. Pati yung kanyang wheel design, nagbago. But it was naging straightforward yung design nyo. It was naging uh, bold yung kanyang look. The same, the same story goes kapag natinig na natin yung likod, you know. Yung pa rin yung black cladding na nakikita nyo doon. Tapos yung kanyang uh, LED daylight is surrounded by black trimmings again or a glossy black trim. Tapos yung kanyang meron na rin siya yung skid plate doon. So, yun. So, basically, what's new with the Stargazer X is that yung kanyang exterior more of an aesthetic update yung ginawa ni Hyundai dito sa sasakya na ito. Nilagyan niya ng mga more aggressive design or the more aggressive exterior trimmings para magpagay ng added, added flavor dito sa Stargazer. Kasi what uh, Hyundai Indonesia said, no, the Stargazer was received well dito sa market nila dito, which is sa Indonesia. And they're doing this para may pandagdag or bagong paulo sa kailang Stargazer. And yeah, it still comes with the same 1.5 liter engine that delivers 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque. Then the CVT pa rin siya. Tapos it has a variance na naka 6 seater captain seat yung gitna. Tapos meron pa rin siyang 7 seater which is the usual one. Aside from the new exterior look, no, meron na rin matte finish na exterior paint offered to Stargazer X. Meron siya sa white, tapos yung nandun sa kabila na gray. Parang, parang Ionic 5, yung kulay ng Ionic 5, or yung finish ng Ionic 5. Yun yung may kita mo dito na paint finish sa Stargazer X. And as of now, it is only available sa sasakya na ito. 
hindi pa namin alam kung matatalon sa ibang mga Hyundai models. But yeah, the matte finish looks good, especially the white one, saka itong gray. Hindi ako makadeside mo ano yung uuwi ko. Oh, para namang uuwi ko. Teka, galaw tayo ulit. Yeah, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyong color na matte silver and the thing. Remember the Ionic 5, parang ganyan yung finish nito. So aside ka na sinabi ko, no, yung mga exterior amenities na rin nagdago yung exterior remix na updates na mas aggressive ngayon. Yan yung isa sa bago sa Stargazer X, which is yung matte na color, which is in this one, it's a silver one. Kasi ito eh, no, ang ganda talaga yung subtle na design changes sa kanyang, sa kanyang grill or sa kanyang skid plate. Eh, no? Before kasi it has some lines na putol-putol, ngayon mas dominant na siya. Para siya may keepin, kumbaga, and mas aggressive yung dating nung pinaka phone, yung pinaka trim na to. Saan ka saan? Ganda rin ito. Black dito. Dating mo sa likod, yun pa rin. Ikita mo pa rin yung extension ng black cladding dito. Tapos yung subtle na edited na skid plate, na faux skid plate dito. So definitely yun talaga yung ginagaan ni Hyundai when it comes to the Stargazer X. We're going for a more rugged or a more aggressive design because of that adjacent to black cladding. Tapos ang ganda pa rin yung lines dito sa gila, di ba? Dito siya, papunta sa LED tail lights. Then, as I've said, black cladding goes So, black padding extends to the side. Gaya na nakikita natin design detail na ginawa natin sa Mitsubishi Expander Pro. So, clearly, Hyundai is gunning for the Expander Pro with the Starry Gazer X. Meron tayong presyo. Lalagyan na lang namin dito. Alright? When it comes to market availability, wala pang sinasabi si Hyundai if they're gonna offer this car dito sa, sa atin, sa Philippines. Sa Philippines. Uh, most likely, it could happen. It could be offered in the Philippines kung merong market demand. So, kung gusto nyo makuha yung or kung gusto nyo ipasok ni Hyundai Motor Philippines itong Hyundai Stargazer X, comment nyo na sa baba para madagdagan ng mga variants sa Stargazer dito or doon sa Philippine market. Tayo ko nakakalimutan dito nga pala ako sa Indonesia. Wala nyo ka Stargazer na dito eh. So, yun. Comment nyo down below guys if you wanna see this car locally or you wanna see this car to be or if you want Hyundai Philippines to launch this car locally sa market natin sa Pilipinas. Okay! Meanwhile, Cherry displayed the Tigo 8 Pro at the Gai Kindo International Auto Show. Nag-flex din ng muscle ang Wuling, which is also a Chinese car brand. Pinakita nila yung kanilang air electric vehicle. MG also made its presence felt sa show by showing the MG4 EV. Nandito din sa show ang Mazda. And one of the cars that it displayed is the MX-30, which is Mazda's first production EV. So, ito yung isa sa interesting cars na nakita natin dito sa Indonesia International Auto Show. It's the new Daihatsu Terios. And hindi ako nagkakamali. This is the facelifted version na meron tayo sa Philippine market, which is the Toyota Rush. Di ba? Kung mapasin nyo, yan ay yung bagong mukha ng facelifted Toyota Rush. And we still don't have any idea as to when Toyota Motor Philippines plans to bring this car into market. Pero just to give you an idea, ayan, yung facelifted na Toyota Rush or sold as the Daihatsu Terios here in Indonesia. Alright. Hindi din magpapahuli ang Suzuki as it showcased the XL7 Hybrid, which is a vehicle that could be offered in the Philippine market. Although, wala pang official announcement ang Suzuki Philippines kung kailan or kung dadalin ba nila ito sa market natin. Aside from the XL7 Hybrid, pinakita din ng Suzuki ang kanilang Ortiga Hybrid at ang Grand Vitara. So, you know, aside from sa iba pang inaantay natin sa sangyari ng things in Pilipinas, ito yung isa yung inaantay natin, which is the Coco Mola 5. Recently, I just won uh, na CNN Cup for a 5-star safety rating. But up to this point, wala pa rin tayong bagong update kung kailan ba talaga ipapasok ni Coco Mola, ito Coco Mola 5 dito sa Philippines. And yun, no? And it's known for its very aggressive and very striking grill na may kita nyo dyan, which gives the car a modern and authentic look. Tapos pag tinigyan mo pa sa side, magpapakomplement mo siya ng mga red cream, next thing niya. Kasi nga, diba, that is what the model is gunning for. It's gunning for the younger set of buyers para maka-attract or makapagbigay ng sasakyan sa kanila na sakto sa kanilang face. Pero yun nga, wala pa tayong update kung kailan darating at kailan na officially papasok at ilulaunch sa sasakyan na yun, which is the Omoa The Five, sa Philippine market. Siyempre, nandito din sa show ang Lexus. And one of the cars na pinakita nila is the Lexus RZ450e, an electric vehicle na available na din sa Philippine market. Over at Toyota's booth, the all-new Prius is displayed along with other Toyota cars, such as the DZ4X electric vehicle. 
And so that wraps up in time natin dito sa Turkey and Indonesia International Auto Show. Ang dami nga natin nakita mga kotse. And one of the standout cars sa event na ngayon is yung Hyundai Stargazer X which is the new variant ng Stargazer na meron ng mas rugged na appeal at mas enhanced or uh, refresh na exterior design. No? Kita nyo naman kanina yung mga black cladding, di ba? And another car that debuted here dito sa Indonesia International Auto Show is the Mitsubishi X-Force which is yun yung production version nung napanood nyo at yung feature namin dati na Mitsubishi XFC concept. So yun, ang dami pang ibang kotse dito. Sana mas may time pa kami to libot all the places or to libot or to check out all the cars pero okay lang. Masaya naman na kami. Alright. Yun, so no, good morning. This is another trip dito sa ating Indonesia trip. No, kaya nga trip eh, di ba? We are going to visit Hyundai's plant here in Indonesia. Pero from what I heard, hindi yata pwede magpasok ng camera doon. Pero tignan natin mamaya kung kakayanin. And kung hindi man tayo papasukin ng camera, okay, magkakala ko. Kwento ko na lang sa inyo yun kung ano yung gagawin namin. O kung ano yung nakita ko doon sa Hyundai plant sa Indonesia. Ayun, it's a very good morning again. Okay, sige. Mamaya ulit. Bye-bye. So you know guys, update lang. Hindi pwede yung camera sa planta ng Hyundai Indonesia which is expected. Pero from what we've learned kanina, yung planta na yun ay nagpo-produce ng Hyundai Creta, Stargazer, Ioniq 5, pati Santa Fe. And it can produce 150,000 units annually. So yun, no? and eventually may, may tinata yung building na bago doon para maging battery, EV battery manufacturing plant para locally produce na yung batteries ng electric vehicles ng Hyundai dun sa Indonesia. Yun no, kung doon hindi tayo nakapasok, may iba pwede ang access ng camera. At nandito tayo ngayon sa Hyundai Motor Studio sa Sinaya Park, Jakarta, Indonesia. This is the seventh facility sa according to the research that I did no, ng Hyundai nitong Motor Studio nila. It's a, yun nga, it's a facility that houses an LED wall inside. Tapos may display siya sa gitna na Ionic 6. Tapos yung LED wall na yan, it's 3D eh. Hindi na siya basta design or whatever. It features Hyundai's goal of sustainability and caring for the environment. Diyan nila nilalagay yung mga different artworks that highlights their, their goal and their vision when it comes to creating a more sustainable future. Tapos kaya nga na doon dida yung Ionic 6 pag kita nyo sa loob. And then, no, meron din silang lounge sa loob. Meron silang lounge to sa loob na pwede ka mag-chill, pwede ka mag-relax. Habang nagkakape ka. And yung kape nila, it's a 115 coffee made from uh, sustainable materials din. Kaya nga nasabi dito sa inaawakan ko, na iniinom ko, it's come to the zero plastic. So, yun no. Yaan yung Hyundai Motor Studio sa Sinaya Park. So, ang ganda niya sa loob. Tratik na pa natin. Let's go! Isa pa sa pwede niyong gawin sa Hyundai Motor Studio is the Upcycling DIY Workshop. For our batch, we are tasked to create our own card case or card holder. The catch is, the materials na ginamit namin are from excess leather that was used in Hyundai vehicles. Medyo challenging yung activity na ito kasi you'll be the one to make the card holder from scratch. Gaya nito, binigyan kami ng materials na kailangan para magawa yung card holder. Nag-sketch kami ng pattern, tapos ginupit namin ito in preparation for the stitching. Pero huwag ka mag-alala if hindi ka expert sa pagtatahe kasi the instructor is more than willing to assist you. Based from my own experience ito, ha? kaya naman ito, naitawid ko yung activity na ito. At eto na nga yung finished product. In case you're wondering, Hyundai Motor Studio is offering its DIY upcycling workshop for 300 pesos. Converted na yun from Indonesian rupiah. Ayun. O, di ba? Yun yung masasabi mong souvenir na pinaghirapan mo. So, yun, no? Natapos naman natin yung ginawa natin kanina sa upcycling DIY workshop. And ito, no? Buti na lang, ginahid ako ni ate every step of the way. Kaya, yun, nabuo ko siya at natahi ko siya ng ma maigi. And, yan, no? Gaya sabi namin kanina, this material is sourced from the 
leather seats ng Hyundai model. So instead na itapon nila yung excess na leather, nire-repurpose nila para sa workshop na ito, which is yung upcycling DIY workshop na. Para hindi naman dagdag trash, diba? Instead of trash, ito na, may bago ka ng ID or card holder na pwede mo pa isabit, diba? And yun, yun yung magagawa mo dito sa Hyundai Motor Studio dito sa Jakarta. Aside from the display na LED dyan sa likod, meron ka rin display na Ionic 6 doon. And pwede kayo magkape dito kung dibisita kayo ng Jakarta or uh, bakasyon kayo dito. Pwede kayo magkape doon, pwede kayo magtambay sa lounge nila. And at the same time, pwede nyo kayong mag ganito, yung upscale DIY workshop. Where yun yun nga, no, yung excess na leather seat material, yung isang Hyundai model, and repurpose or ginamit ulit para makagawa kayo ng ganito. So, ayun. Huh, gutom ako dun. Sometimes, kain na niya ito. Ah, oh, sige. May ulit. Yun! That wraps up our Indonesia trip. Ang dami nating ginawa dito sa bansa na ito, no? One of which is pumunta nga tayo din sa Indonesia International Auto Show. And we also had a plant tour sa manufacturing facility ng Hyundai dito sa Indonesia. And then, bumaan din tayo dun sa kanilang Hyundai Motor Studio na ang ganda ng lobby eh, kasi it's filled with LED display nga eh, di ba? Tapos may kapihan pa at napa-stitch-stitch tayo dun, napatahi tayo dun sa kanilang upcycle DIY workshop. And you know, that wraps up our trip. Tapos yun nga, ang highlights ng trip is that nakita natin yung launch ng new variant ng Stargazer which is called the Hyundai Stargazer X. Gaya nga ng sinabi natin at gaya na nakita nyo sa video na to, it comes with a more aggressive exterior styling. Tapos yung kanyang gilid, meron na rin mga body cladding. Which kung mapapansin ninyo, it, it's like the treatment na ginawa ni Mitsubishi sa Expander Cross. And yun nga, no, maganda pa doon is that it is offered with new colors ng matte finish, yung silver and white, no, gaya nung paint yun na nakita nyo sa Hyundai Ioniq 5. That wraps up our trip. Sana na-enjoy ninyo. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Phil Coach's YouTube channel. Click nyo yung bell icon para lagi kayong updated sa mga bagong videos gaya nito. And yun nga, no, tapos na yung trip. Magliligpit na ako ng gamit kasi uuwi na kami. Yun na nga. And which brings me to the question, it's raining in Manila pa kaya? Na, tignan natin yung weather forecast. Okay, ito si Martin Aguilar, yung Cambio Boy Next Door, reporting from Jakarta, Indonesia. See you on the next video. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching! For the latest news, reviews, and anything you want to know about cars and car ownership, visit philcoche.com. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify para hindi ka uli sa usapan. Tandaan! Kotse ba? Feel kotse na!